I'm super excited. Oh my God, I have my colleagues and we're all from Microsoft. And this is a segment of women in tech. It's so, so important, so deep in my heart as well. So fantastic to see you guys here. How's Mem Summit coming along? We're right in the throes of it. So um, <laughs> it's been two full days and there's still more to come. So I think I think the team it's we've had to really rally as a team and um, I think we've done just that. So Right. Yeah. Um super excited. I think we've had some amazing sessions. Uh, we have one more to go. Uh, so looking forward to yeah. it. So why don't you let's start with uh, introduce yourselves. Uh, who you are, where you're from, sure. what you do. <laughs> uh, I'm Lavanya. I'm the principal PM manager on the Intune team working on co-pilot efforts, and I love working with data and analytics, so here I am. Eugenie Burge, based in Redmond, and I am the director of product marketing for Intune and working very closely with our product management and engineering partners. Um, to be able to develop the capabilities of Intune, Intune Suite, as well as Copilot. I'm Sangeeta Vishweshwaran. I'm a director of engineering in Intune. Um, I do have teams that work on Intune Core, Intune Suite, and Copilot. And I am Cristina Osorio, <laughs> a CXC product manager, working for um, Intune Product Group for five years now. So uh, mainly my role is to be the interface between our strategic customers here in Europe and, and the product group. So I feel like an odd person out because <laughs> all of you are Intune. <laughs> Guess Windows. how we feel every day. <laughs> Right. We're actually part of the same team. We're we part are of the, the same cloud, team. cloud endpoint teams with the That's Monitor, right. So. <laughs> so, all right. So let's focus on, um, uh, you know, the whole concept of women in tech, right? And you guys have killed it uh, in terms of your sessions and, you know, uh, the AMAs and and you know, everything else here. Tell me about, you know, what would you guys like to see in the future? How do we encourage more women speakers, more women attendees to come to events like this? Anyone? Do you want to start with that? I think it's a fantastic question. We're, we actually, I think looking at Microsoft, we do very well. I think the diversity uh, that that Microsoft has embedded into its culture is reflective of the team that we have. Mm -hmm. And so I feel very fortunate um, at Microsoft. I've also worked at other companies that have, have given me that type of opportunity as well. Uh, having said that, when I look at our audience, um, I think we have a lot of work to do yes. to bring other women into uh, IT roles, mm -hmm. security roles uh, within, uh, within enterprise uh, around the world. Um, it <laughs> one of the little funnies was um, when you, we go to the, these type of events, um, there is usually a lineup in the for the men's yes, washroom yes and not for the ladies <laughs> room. we could actually have uh you know free reign many different uh, companies including microsoft have you know gender neutral uh yes. facilities but um i actually went into one of the ladies room and um, and the guy was walking out just because they didn't want to wait in the line so right. welcome to our world in many other venues like yes. in sports or even theater where you know there's a lot of lineups at the women's uh, washroom, but. Um, I think for me personally, uh, working in Microsoft, there have been several meetings. Uh, I've had the privilege of being with my uh, fellow colleagues who are all women. It feels very proud uh, to be in such uh, meetings and such sessions and seeing such good representation. For me, it means a lot. Um, where I think we can really influence and make a difference is being able to be that voice and encourage more of uh, young girls uh, who are really thinking about STEM and IT mm -hmm. as a profession uh, growing up is where I think we can uh, make a difference. And uh, these summits are a great way to influence, encourage, and some of the work, Harijat, that you're doing, uh, where you showcase these videos, I think that's a 
great way for them to see these videos, get uh, motivated, uh, inspired, and uh, join these sessions, right? So uh, we want to be that example, and we will do anything to uh, help them in their journey. Yeah, I think you said it right. Uh, you know, more of an example, they see you doing it, and it's they're like, hey, I can do that too, right? It, it's like it's not a, it's a, it's a barrier or anything like that. Um, did you want to say something? Yeah, uh, no, I, ju I just wanted to reemphasize what, what they said. Uh, because of the nature of my role, I visit a lot of customers, and I am often the, the only woman. So it's not only this event where we see in the other side that there is not enough representation, but it's the reality of uh, all the organizations that we work with as well. So once again, being there, show up and you know also giving the space to the women that come to these events to come and talk to us make sure they feel uh you know comfortable they can ask questions they can sure. come and talk to us i think that that goes a long way sure yeah um, i'll add they uh, they said a lot of great things i do want to say um lamina talked about working with great people right and i work with her in copilot and i do want to share like um, from the engineering team, when I just go to most of my co-pilot meetings, engineering, PM, the PM leader, engineering leaders, all women. Um, so it's yes. like a, it's like a while where since I mean maybe when I was in school, yeah, I had that situation, right? So mm. it's fantastic where how far we've come, but it also is not because it it doesn't come for free. Right? Right. It's because we have we have the sponsorship, we have the support, we have people around us who are allies, so it's been great to have allies around us. Um, that's one thing, so a call to action I would say is, it's not just that um, women aren't interested in these kind of roles, women are, but naturally women tend to stay ba in the background, women tend to wanna get called into. Right. I'm not saying that's the right thing, but yeah. um, I do a call to action to allies to seek the women around you to- Bring them along. Them, bring them along. So yeah. for me to be in conferences, yeah. I've been in tech for 24 years now, mm -hmm. only in the last three years, I've come more to the conferences and speak. Mm -hmm. It's because uh, I was given this forum, I was asked to, join um, I was sitting behind the scenes right so yeah. um, I do I think there is the aspect of it where all of us not just can be role models but also be that platform for others to yeah to bring them along yeah I did um, uh, something similar like that like a mentorship uh, um, uh, model where I was at a conference in the US a few years ago and you know there was an attendee a woman attendee and she was speaking with a group of people and I noticed like she knew her stuff. Like she was talking about Intune. And I said, oh my God, she's wicked smart, you know. So I went up to her and said, hey, can I be a role model? Can I be your mentor? She looked at me, she's like, what? I said, no, no, no. Here's the reason why. I think you're gonna be so valuable to be a speaker. She said, oh. I said, listen, the next conference, right, for this conference, the next one, let's do that, right? You come up with some concept of your sessions, send it to me. I will piggyback with you. I'll tell you what's good, what's not good, and we will do it together. And she did, and she followed, she submitted, and she got tagged with other great speakers, right? MVPs and things like that. Not only that, soon after that, she ended up working on Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think they, you know, we need to be that ally and someone to, you know, look out. As far as like, you know, so we know it, you know, Christina and I were talking earlier uh, about we are so lucky at Microsoft that gives us the platform, gives women the platform to to do great work and to, you know, to shine and stuff like that. Um, for events like this, event organizers, what can they do better? What should they do for the next next one so that they can think about whether is it, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 women-driven sessions, you know, technical sessions, or I'm just coming up with things. <laughs> 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 you, 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm going. We, we've been trying to brainstorm okay. on that because we have a couple of industry <laughs> events coming up, and what can we do to leverage the community to to attract more women to these events? Because not only you know, we want to learn from uh, other women in tech as well, yeah. so we want them to participate. And it, it's a tough one, you know. Do you use like? Um, best practices from universities when they have their recruiting? Do is there Should the event coordinators have a diversity quota that they need to meet? And, and that can yeah. be controversial, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but are there ideas, are there other areas of best practices that have, you know, um, um, that we can learn from, mm -hmm. that, we c that we can suggest to the organizers to apply? Um, there could be discounted tickets. There could be, you know, something like that, or at least um, uh, X number of the sessions should be uh, or should have a, a di diverse speakers. Uh, but really, we also want the audience. Uh, we really want the audience. Yeah. Uh, yeah to. So I'm open to ideas and to partner on on anything that we can bring and and make and and try and influence change. Mm -hmm. There is um, an interesting thing that I actually uh, learned from one of our colleagues in Microsoft, Karen Simpson. <laughs> um, every time we will go to a session where she was speaking, they will reach out to all the women uh, in the session, and uh, she will actually check if we wanted to collaborate or we had any questions yeah, in the following session. And, like and yeah. this actually uh, gives you the confidence to come forward at least once and maybe bring along some other people. So mm -hmm. that could be an idea. It worked in, in some situations oh in the yeah. past. Okay. And I know Christina did it when I was in Ninja Summit. Christina was on stage and she was like a shout out to all the women here. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> to all three of them, that's great. That's good. <laughs> but I think uh, uh, Eugenie made a great point. It is, uh, if you're not ready to be on stage, come to be part of the audience right? and encourage women to be part of the audience. That's the first step and then they get to feeling like, oh, what they're saying on stage is so different from what I'm doing anyways. Exactly. I think just uh, to get themselves exposure to the forums like this, if the organizers can do something to bring in more women, make it sound, I mean, even the, can you make the event sound fun, uh, business and fun, right? It's if it's, you're making it so technically already, you know, making multiple pillars, not just a women thing, right? There are a lot of people who exactly. are gonna take 10 steps back because we do, I mean, I'm generalizing it, but I, I mean, for the sake of generalizing it and making a statement, I'm mm -hmm. gonna still say it. Um, we tend to wanna be perfect before we step into doing something. Yeah. So if we have to go on stage to speak about a topic, um, most women will only be signing up for it if they know every single thing about it. Oh, okay. But the honest yeah. truth is, I don't think anybody's going to be able no. to say they know <laughs> everything about it. I don't think anybody on stage can say everything about it. So um, uh, some way to encourage that aspect of the speakers don't have to know everything. The speakers will be partnered with other people. Between all of you, it's just sharing what you know. So yes. making it sound like this is, you're not expected to know everything. It is uh, it's it okay. is for the community and we yes. are all there where we don't know everything. Making, um, making statements like this or making it fun and also not mm -hmm. making it sound like um, we need people who know everything. Right. I mean, come be the learn it all and the know it all like our CEO says. Yeah. Uh, I think for me, um, because you were asking in context of this summit, the starting point would be there are a lot of women attendees today. If we could uh, encourage them to sh uh, spread the word uh, for the upcoming summit or even for the summit next year. And uh, since you've been that amazing PR for the summit, uh, I have a suggestion. So <laughs> when the registrations do open up next year, uh, if you can bring us all together, we would love to make a small video encouraging oh, more participants to idea. come register for the session. And even like did like Sangi said, we don't necessarily want them to be speakers. We want them to come participate, yes. see how we do it. And then we are happy to even coach and mentor, have some of those sessions as part of customer meetings. We would love to connect with them and I talk love about that idea. our experiences. Yes. Yes. And one thought keeps coming to mind is community begets community, mm -hmm. right? 
and we have a community of people we see at, right, recurring events, right? Is there a way to um, engage that community to to change the culture? Because that's what made Microsoft successful yeah. was that it, it, it was in, it's infused in our culture. So is there a way that we can get the community to adjust their the culture to be have more diversity and yes. inclusion? Yes, yes, great. Any, oh, well, you have something. Yeah, <laughs> love what Lavanya said triggered something else. Um, good question to the organizers is as they publish the next event that comes, they usually po post pictures of the previous events and all that happens. How much of uh, diverse representation are there in those pictures? Something oh, for them to be point. mindful of. They put pictures of speakers on stage. How many women speakers do they put pictures of? Or True. is this like four pictures, all men, all men looking alike? So right. that's something that's easy for them These to are some good look points around to, think to just about. be mindful of uh, yeah. how they represent the conference. Right. All right. So I know you guys got to go. Um, any last parting words um, on any topic on whether it's a conference, whether it's your, uh, you know, women in tech or anything like that. Uh, any takeaways you want people to have? Um, I do have a call to action for the women that are not here, if they are seeing it. Like right? join the Microsoft MVP community. It's a very, very inclusive community and, uh, you know, um, people thrive, learn from each other. So especially when people are feeling like, I don't know if I should be there. This is a community that's actually looking out for each other. And the, the company is a big sponsor and supporter of that community. So it will be great to see uh, more diverse representation in that community. And, and I assume all of you are open to having people connect with you through LinkedIn or things like that, right? And you'll yes. do mentorship. We'd all love to be mentors mm -hmm. and sponsors for folks that are seeking yes. that support. Um, I'm speaking for everybody here, but I'll let them say <laughs> Well, I wanted to thank Harjit for your allyship because, you. Um, you know, you actually take action and, and that I really appreciate. And I think that all of us, you know, are allies but uh, you, you know your influence on other males uh, to be allies as well because it, it would it doesn't have to be just left up to the women of yeah, tech yeah, to yeah, attract yeah, yeah. other women we of tech do do yes. we do but and you represent that so thank, thank you, you very ladies. much so thank you um, i would just say keep spreading the word uh, you have a bigger reach uh, so Take this message along from all yes. of us here, um, and uh, we are happy to connect. Any forum where you want us to come, talk, uh, encourage, motivate, inspire, we'll be there. Yes, yeah. Yes. yeah, and also for the next event, uh, I mean, now it's fine if they reach to us uh, online and stuff, but in the next event, if they see us in person, like any woman in the event can come and talk to us, because I don't know for you, but nobody approached me, at least in this event. It happened in other ones. but. Just, yeah, just come and talk to us. Awesome, awesome. Thank you all for doing this <laughs> and for sharing your, you know, your thoughts. And, and I picked up a lot of great points, like Eugenie, you know, Sangi, and Lavanya, and Christina. Oh, my God. So I'm going to put this into action for sure. Like, you know, I got some good tips. Thanks, everyone. This has been great. Thank you. Awesome women in tech. <laughs>